Just wait for everybody to come in. Hello, Troy McDrains. How are you? Welcome. This is going to be a different live stream for you all. Hello, Melody. Melody Scanman, how are you? Hello, Chrissy Emmert. Hello, David Garner. Hello, a cyberistic cow. Hello, Jason Parker. Hello, everyone, and welcome in to this live stream. We are here. This is a different kind of live. Hello, Stan Gren Granfell. Hello, Carmel. Everybody's piling in right now. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Stay aware, stay safe and healthy, aware and prepared here with Daily Events Worldwide, giving you a world update here. I'm going to say hello to everybody. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Brian. Hello, Rosemary. Hello, Linda Lala. Long time no see. Hello, Jim Dickinson. Hello, Dean Hill. How's it going? Hello, Jackie Hodges. Hello, Farnog Trapping and Eradication. Welcome to the stream. Hello, NN Das Mom. Peekaboo. Peekaboo to you as well. Welcome to this very uh, high quality live stream now, thanks to a very valued subscriber from down in Texas. Helping daily events worldwide out with a brand new laptop. God bless you and thank you so much. I've been through so much recently. It's been a roller coaster from hell. And thank you so much for hanging on with me, folks, because I know we're all on this ride together. So please don't forget to give a like and uh, share with your friends and family from around the world. Hello, Cuban Mama. Hello, Off Grid Homesteads. Hello, the ba the baller, the baller astrologer. Welcome, everybody. We're going to get right into the world update now. Looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, we've seen a couple deep earthquakes in the Fiji region. Also notable 4.5 uh, earthquake, I do believe that was here yesterday in California, 4.2, Ferndale, California. But all in all, earthquakes have been pretty quiet other than the 6.0 that we saw a couple days ago after the earthquake warning video. We did see a sizable 6.0 here in Indonesia. But otherwise, it's been pretty quiet. We've got quite a swarm occurring right now at Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic. Looking at all the earthquakes throughout the day today, lots of minor activity. As well, a 4.7 earthquake here up at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Notable activity up through Alaska still. And as well, the Tibetan Plateau up into northern China. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick browse at the last seven days for shakers across the world. Again, I'm going to say hello to everybody in the chat section right now. Thank you so much for checking in and as well as subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Don't be afraid to say hello to everybody else in the stream. Tell me where you're watching from. And again, thank you so much for following along, staying aware and prepared with Daily Events Worldwide. That's the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. We also did have some space weather affecting us over the last couple days. Geomagnetic activity was up. We were at a G3 geomagnetic storm. Right now, our solar winds are coming in at about 402 kilometers per second. And we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts to be expected. Looking at the solar X-ray flux, we did have very minor M-class solar flare and a moderate M-class solar flare in the last 24 hours. And it was an earth facing position. Small C me is on its way. Hello, Magical Sister. Hello, Keto Mama. Hello, Sandy Hardy. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Susan. Hello, Jackie Hodges. Welcome, everybody, to the stream, giving you your world update here with daily events worldwide. Just going to get rid of some earthquakes here. We were looking at space weather. This is our current magnetosphere, solar winds showing our pressure planes. Not too much pressure on our planet right now. 
but watch for that to change as we are expecting some more space weather this week thanks to the most recent CMEs. And this is the last 48 hours of imagery looking at Lasco 2. You can see that small CME taking off there and as well from the cresting images. A look at the last 48 hours on our sun as we still have pretty active sunspots right now solar cycle 25 still putting on quite a show and as well plasma filaments dancing around the northern hemisphere m class solar flare was from the cresting sunspot right here Again, thank you all for watching and checking in today. This is a live stream update brought to you by Daily Events Worldwide. And you get a little picture of me in the corner there to say hi and welcome everybody. Get another look at our sun, multi-spectrum. This is where we can really see that flash on the cresting limb here, M-class solar flare right there. No major coronal holes to talk about except for this guy right here, but that is turning away. Then our sunspot regions. Have a quick look at those as well. Hello, ML. Hello, Gene Emerson. Hello, Valerie in the Mac. Hello, Manifestations of the Light. Welcome to this update, world update. 77 people in here watching. Can we get 70 likes? Please don't forget to send the love and likes towards the video and information shared. Daily Events Worldwide is back, back in action. And once this update ends, there will be another live stream uploaded. And that will be back to the 24-7 Earthquake live stream with a brand new laptop. And I've got a brand new iPad now. Uh, so God bless you all and God bless everybody who has helped me out over the last little bit. It's been a rough road. And, and I've been, I have not been able to do the daily updates. So here we are back in action, October 1st, 2023. And you're welcome, everybody. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Looks like 77 watching and 77 likes almost. That's pretty awesome. Thank you so much. Current space weather conditions, R1 moderate. Having a look at the ISPA space prediction spiral showing the most recent CME taking off from the cresting limb of our sun. Also gonna have a look at here, 24 hours earthquakes according to USGS as they're reporting 216 earthquakes. I'll give a small look here at what's going on in Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. Quite an earthquake swarm going on here. Looking at about, what, 52 earthquakes all along the shoreline here. What do you think of this high quality animation here? Thanks to the little laptop. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support and love to this channel as well, because without you, this would not be possible. Quick look over Hawaii. No major earthquake events to talk about. And again, the deepest earthquake today, 549 kilometer depth in Lavuka, Fiji. As well, a couple of other deep earthquakes there, 485 and 500. Also wanted to give you an update here on our air quality situation. 
having a look at windy.com this is our so2 map showing the sulfur dioxide particulates as we did have quite an eruption at nishinashima which i was watching from the 18th on and on and that's pretty much right here or yeah in between Marianas Trench and Eastern Japan. So lots of SO2 came from there as well. Shishaldin Volcano in Alaska. And right now we've got 61 volcanoes erupting as reported two weeks ago and not much has changed. I don't report on the Schumann resonance much anymore due to copyright problems there with the uh, the Russian contributors to the Schumann Resonance have to find another site to use. Appreciate you checking out on that though, Valerian, the Mac. Let's have a look here at weather forecast. For the next little bit, overlooking at North America, as we do have quite a heat wave across eastern Canada, western Canada seeing things cool down. Some extreme weather was moving through parts of Ontario today as low pressure center is moving through. And you did have quite a situation along northeastern areas of the United States this last little while, flooding through New York. Put this into motion here. Most of the weather is going to be through the Pacific Northwest and Central United States and moving up into Manitoba and Ontario. Lots of moisture coming into the BC coastline as well. But then watch for this big low here to develop in the long range. And that is going to start to bring down those very cool temperatures and as well snowfall. As you can see, it's starting to build up there in Alaska in this long range forecast. No major tropical systems to worry about through the Atlantic right now. Long range forecast could see something develop, but nothing major is forecast here in the long range forecast. Lots of rain for the BC coast and interior and heavy snowfall through higher elevations as well. Lots of moisture and cold front slipping through by looks like here, October 9th and into the 10th. Watch for things to really shift by the 14th. Quick look at the temperature transitions here. Parts of Eastern Canada, Ontario, 10 degrees, 17 through Saskatchewan in the long range. But yeah, these colder temperatures starting, starting to fuel down and as well, polar vortex is starting to set up. I'll give you a quick glance at that as well, because that is quite interesting right now. Southern hemisphere polar vortex is a little bit oblonged and uh, weirdly shaped. I'm just gonna have a look here. Let's have a look at now, air, and top level. So there's our polar vortex in the Southern hemisphere right now. As I was saying, it's a little bit oblonged. Looks like it's fighting with um, our true magnetic north. But quite the systems here in the Southern hemisphere. Check this out, guys. I've never seen anything like this. Wow. Versus the Northern Hemisphere. Things are starting to swirl up here in the Northern Hemisphere. Winds are starting to pick up. Colder temperatures are going to start fueling back down. But look how high this polar vortex is stretching out towards the tip of South America. Very strong winds all across the equator right now. Let's have a look at this compared to, let's say, last year. Oh, yeah. Well, that seems normal there. You know? But this um, is a little strange. It's a little strange. That magnetosphere is being affected by the solar changes on our sun. And our 
weather is starting to get more dramatic and erratic. We are here. 106 people watching. Wow. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Please don't forget to smack that like button. I'm going to do my best to uh, get into the comment section and say hi to everybody. Hello, Weld Alchemist to Spirit. Hello, Susan BTV. Gene Emerson. Rudy Slippers. Much love to you all, and thank you for your amazing love and support to this channel. We're going through some pretty trying times together right now, and I'm grateful for every living day, and I'm grateful for it all of you and we all love truth don't we so share the truth share this channel share these wild images of our southern and northern polar vortex look at this this is madness but again this is a, also a live stream update you're able to see me right here so daily from now on we will be doing our regular daily do updates and live streams will be going as well 24 7. we're gonna get back in action here and maybe even upload some shorts let's get into some shorts everybody hello susan marie thank you so much that's right thank you for your support much love smack that like button Without you, there is no do. So please don't forget to share this channel with your friends and family from around the world as we embark on some of the greatest changes our planet has ever seen. Two hundred and fifteen earthquakes past twenty four hours. Solar winds coming in at three hundred and ninety nine kilometers per second, and earthquakes are steady. Much love, everybody. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, don't forget to, uh, you know, down there somewhere, there's a thumbs up. Hit it. Much love. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you for next video now. Bye-bye.